Hello, this is Anne from Lolly and Grace, and this is a tutorial for the bullion stitch. You can see I've already made a couple of straight bullion stitches right here. A couple of things to keep in mind when you're making this stitch is that you're going to want to use what's called a milliner's needle. This needle has a long shaft, and it's the same width from the eye to the tip. In other words, it doesn't have that bulge like some up at the eye that some uh, needles have. So to make this stitch, come up at the bottom of your stitch, go back down through the fabric, a stitch length away, but the first thing to keep in mind is not to pull the thread all the way through the fabric. Leave a loop. Come up at the bottom of the stitch, right where your uh, thread is coming out, but do not pull the needle all the way through the fabric. Now I'm going to take the thread that's uh, coming out of the same place as the needle, hold on to my needle, and I'm going to wrap the thread around the needle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I determined that nine wraps was the length it would take to make this stitch the right length to fill it in from the bottom to the top. Uh, one thing to keep in mind at this point is not to wrap that thread too tightly, otherwise you'll have trouble with this step, which is to pull the needle through those wraps, keep pulling, tug it up, keep pulling, and then sometimes I will take my needle and as I'm pulling this thread, I will sort of arrange the wraps and then go back down right at the end of the stitch to anchor it. So let's do that again. Start at the bottom of your stitch, go down a stitch length away, but don't pull the thread all the way through the fabric. Come back up at the bottom of the stitch, but don't pull the needle all the way through. Oops, I caught the thread. Let me go back and go back in a better place. There, at the base of the stitch, hold the needle, wrap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gently hold those wraps with my other fingers. Pull the needle through. Pull up on the thread. Keep pulling. Go back down through the fabric to anchor that stitch. Now, if I want to make a curved bullion stitch, I do the exact same thing. But whereas it took me nine wraps to go from here to here, on this stitch, I'm going to add more wraps to make the stitch longer, which will cause it to curve. So come up through the bottom, down a stitch length away, back up through, and this time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, let's try twelve. Hold on to those wraps. I might have wrapped them a little bit tightly because it's the more wraps, the harder it is, harder it is to pull it through. I'm going to keep pulling. And you can see now that that stitch is a little bit longer, so it will curve. Same thing, go down through the fabric to anchor the stitch. And I will make one more stitch that is a little bit longer. That when you sort of arrange it, but let's go back up through the fabric, down, come up from the bottom. Don't pull the needle all the way through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's do sixteen. That should definitely be long enough. Hopefully I can get the needle through. Pull the needle through. Keep tugging. And now you can see how curved that stitch is. I'll go back down through the fabric to anchor it. And that is a curved bullion stitch.